Neil Mahoney writes in, Hey there, Collider crew. Do you think that there is a song that has perfectly ended a movie, encapsulating the tone and or feel? Thanks and keep up the great work. Schnapp, what about you? Is there a song like at the end of a film that's like, this song is the perfect bow to finish off this movie? I thought I nailed it perfectly this morning when I came in and gave you guys my, I was like, 16 Candles, it's the yep. Thompson Twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, that little song at the end. You were very proud. You very, played the song for us in the movie. The song is everybody's just quiet for me. I was like, it's got a slow beginning. Just give it, give it 35, 50 seconds. We wanted to go it's back gonna, to the rest of the meeting and he get, wouldn't let us yeah. talk. I was like, just hang on. Hang, ep, ep, ep. It's almost about to start. And then while we were waiting for the song to kick in, which is awesome, and if you've never heard the Thompson Twins, get on that. Um, Dennis Zhang had to kill it and be like, yeah, but Schnapp, what about Breakfast Club? And he trumped me. And he's like, just trump my ass, son. I'm taking it. I'll give you credit, but I'm taking that one, too. Oh, yeah. The, so, the breakfast, that's a perfect breakfast one. Club. Don't you forget yeah. about Don't me. Don't you forget about me. Simple Minds, Simple baby. Simple Minds. So that's the one that, you know, that is even more memorable. So 80s. Son. Yeah. What's yours, Mark? Oh, boy, do I have a bunch of them. If I can go score first, I mean, obviously, the, the end title mark from the first Star Wars is the reason why I'm under 200 pounds, because it keeps me on a treadmill. Um, <laughs> as far as, like, songs go, I got a few. Top Gun, the end, you've lost that love and feeling by the righteous brothers mm. is great uh stand by me but the, the benny king original version at yeah. the end of stand by me um and uh and okay so i got two more okay i have humans being which is the song that kind of broke up the van hagar era of van halen but it was at the end of twister and it made perfect sense to be in there mm. and another one i'm going to come back to because i forgot it i remembered it back in time huey lewis at the end of back oh, to the future yeah. might be the most perfect yeah. ending <laughs> encapsulating what the movie was about to totally. me i'm glad that's you remembered back in time because i was going to say what about that back to the future huey lewis but i couldn't remember what it's called. Gotta get back in time. Yeah. Uh, for me, I it this song literally makes me weep. It's so, it's so perfect because I remember what, when I watched the movie and this song started to play, it just took me through the whole thing. Listening to the song just transformed me through all the entire franchise. That was Annie Lennox's Into the West, the final song that plays at the end of Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. When you listen to that music, we were actually, me, Dennis, and Wendy were in the car coming back from lunch, and we started talking about it. So I got back in the office, and I just put that on, and I started blaring it. And I'm just remembering all the, all the amazing memories of watching the Lord of the Rings films in there. And by the way, treat yourself. Hop on YouTube and look up Annie Lennox's performance of Into the West at the Oscars, because which, by the way, won the Academy Award for Best Song. Right, right. Um, so go and look up her performance in it. So Annie Lennox is just... Hey. Oh my God! I got one. Caddyshack. I'm all right. <laughs> Nobody worry about me. Come on, man. That's not a bad love, one too. You do gophers. a great gopher dance. Yeah, yeah, gopher that, dance. yeah, it was a pretty good gopher <laughs> dance. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.